one nil defeat, three on the bounce. What happened? Um, no good at all. Um, Mitchell taking too long to get the ball out. Um, Miller's just turning like, you know, like when Marcus, before Marcus left, just not running for the ball. It was just useless. And um, we just need to be better. Um, we just need to be better. Um, and if we did do better, yeah, I mean, I'm, who stood out for you as the worst performers? Who needs the, mo the most work from that game? I don't know, because they were all playing pretty rubbish. Mowing you and Wolfgang were all right. Yeah, I, I'm score prediction for Crawley next week. Um, I don't know, maybe 2 1 Donny, I don't know. Oh, right, thank you very much, Harry. Uh, Josh and Lorenzo, 1 uh, 0 defeat, 3 on the bounce. What happened today? Uh, we played shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, what went wrong? What, what went wrong? What, okay, felt, what did you feel went wrong today? Yeah. Midfield. Yeah. Um, it's Crawley next week. Score prediction for that? 6 0 Crawley. 6 0 Crawley. I, I, reckon, I reckon we have a decent chance, you know. I've already said 3 1. 3 1. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> so we're here with Sam. Uh, three, uh, 1 0 defeat, 3 on the bounce. What happened? Yeah, we were fucking dreadful. We were awful. We never had any shots. We should have more shots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we should have more shots. We should have, we should have played better. Just we were awful in general, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, we got Crawley next week. Do you see any positives or any confidence from I that? I think we can win, you know. Genuinely, really? I think we can win. What makes you think we're going to turn it around after watching that stuff? It's just Donny, in it. We're shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are, to be fair. It's Score prediction for Crawley then next I week. I reckon 2-1. And then Papa John's Shroff, you think we'll win that? I think we're going to get battered 4-0. Fair enough, Sam, thank you very much. We lost 3-0 yeah, at home, so you know what I mean? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> Here with Nathan, 1-0 no defeat, 3 on the bounce, what happened there? Yeah, give me a bat! Basically, yeah, we got scored against, didn't we? Yeah. Terrible, oh, terrible. Geez, what stood out for you as the thing that went wrong the most? What made us uh, go bad the most? Well, we, we didn't press hard enough, in my opinion. Yeah. Give me a bat! And then we've got Crawley next Saturday, score prediction for that? 2-1 oh, to us. 2-1 to us, thank you very much. So we're here with... Oh, God. <laughs> so we're here with Jim, 1-0 uh, Defeat, three on the bounce, what happened? McSheffery's not good enough, he's got no tactics, get him sacked. How old go. would you give Gary McSheffery? Uh, tonight, he's got, tonight? To go. he's got to go tonight for me. Really? Get him out, get him sacked and get someone in with some experience. McSheffery has not got a clue, get him out tonight. Uh, score predictions for Crawley? 1-0 Crawley. And then, just, I'm trying to understand this, why would you get rid of McSheffery tonight? Do you see any form of confidence for the next month or so? Not while he's in charge. He's got no tactics. Get him out. He's Fair enough. To, he's got to go. He's got to go. Fair enough, Jim. Thank, go. You, thank you very much for your opinion. Here with Victor, 1 0 defeat, 3 on the bounce. What in the world happened there? No clue, to be honest. I think everyone was poor. First half, two shots, that's it. Not good, none on target. Won't be having it. I mean, just. We've got Crawley next week of blinking it, Papa John's on Tuesday. Any form of confidence for that one? No. Or those two games? No. I think we've got a chance against Crawley. I don't see anything happening against Lincoln. I think it should be some game time for the young ones, to be honest. Um, how long would you give Gary McSheffrey? Gary McSheffrey, I'm saying three or four games if we if we don't bounce back. I think it's not quite happening. And score predictions for Crawley next week? 2-2. I think we'll be looking for that. Fair enough. Victor, thank you very much. Here with Ben. 1-0 uh, defeat, three on the bounce. What happened? It was shocking. Get McSheffrey out. Would you, you'd sack him tonight? Yeah. Why? Get him gone. He's got no tactics on the pitch. He makes one substitution and the whole system changes. It's shocking. You've got no form of confidence that he can last past the next month? No. He's got no experience. It's shocking. And we've got Crawley uh, on Saturday next week. Uh, any, form of, any form of confidence from that if he stays in the job? No, absolutely nothing. If Score prediction to Crawley? If he leaves 2 1, Donny. If he stays 3 1, Crawley. Fair enough, Ben, thank you very much. So we're here with Andy. 1 0 defeat, 3 on the bounce. What happened? Hey, we need him gone. Definitely. Why would you get rid of McSheffrey now? Why now? I don't know. He played it. He played the worst team ever. Right. Right? He played the worst players, right? But we need him gone. Why would you get rid of him now? Why would you, why would you not give him the next month at least to see yeah, what he can do? I will. Okay. We would. But we need to sign more players. We need You'd, you'd strike, say invest eh? in the January market? Yeah. We need a strike, eh? And whatever. Okay. And uh, Crawley next week, score predictions for that one? I say 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Two one. Two one. Uh, Andy, thank you very much. So we've got Stephen Ryan here, Swindon Town fans. Um, 
Obviously, three defeats on the bounce for us, but I bet you guys must be happy with that. Yeah, happy, because the uh, manager was under pressure from the fans from last week's home game against oh, okay. getting them off the stick. But today they eight was unbeaten. Eight unbeaten in the league, and their fans are on his side today, and, it, and he was, he'd be more than happy with that result and the show of support for him, I think. So. Yeah, I mean, how did you find Doncaster? How did you think we did? <laughs> to be honest, I thought I was expecting more of them. That's fair. what Barrow fans said yeah. as well. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> Disappointed, really. I thought you were going to give us a better game, but yeah, happy with the win. Yeah, I mean, who have you guys got next? Uh, away at Grimsby next week. How are you going to find that one? A long trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then obviously we've got Crawley next week. What do you they're, think we're going to do against Crawley. them? They're, they're funny side. They're, they're not as doing as good as we thought we'd be because well, they got cut the next swing and lads there, but they're not performing. So and they've got a new. Uh, Got a new guy in charge of them, splashing the money, but at this level, it's uh, it's all about effort, isn't it? At the end of the day, getting the results. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, guys, have a safe trip home, yeah, thank you. Thanks, mate. We've got Mr. Joe Ryder and Mr. Dillshaw. 1 0 defeat, 3 on the bounce. What the hell happened? Uh, I just think it was terrible. I mean, I, I think the, the lineup that we picked, what we had, I'd say it were a good lineup. I mean, you could argue that Hurst would be in there. But I think Taylor didn't look bad today. He didn't look terrible. But, uh, good lineup. I, th I think we're, we're definitely missing all of them. I think I never used to rate him massively, but now we haven't got him. I can see the hindrance. I, I think it, we, we need someone there because Bobby Fortner, he, he does the on tackle, but he's not amazing. We need, we do need all of them. But his overall performance. I can't see the bite of the play that we saw earlier. It seems the... like something's gone on behind the scenes or something. So much happened to just knock them. I don't know if it would have lost to Mansfield or where it was, but there's something not right, and I hope we get to the bottom very quick. Yeah, Dylan, your thoughts? Quality lineup, awful performance, awful game management. Who in the final ten keeps on playing it bad? You know, you need to get it up. Like, even if it doesn't go anywhere, at least try and get it up for your boy. It's just, yeah. it's just no creativity. I said it last week and I'll say it again, no creativity. Absolutely abysmal again. And again, to be fair, they did make the changes to start the game. They brought on Maxwell to start, they dropped Bing into the bench, they put Rofo the forward, which is what everyone said to do, and yet they still can't get it tactically right. Why? Despite all the changes, why? There's, there's something not right, like we've said. Uh, is it tactics or mentality? I think a bit of both. I think a bit of both. From the start of the season, I'm going to have to say, we were never amazing. Yeah. We were never amazing. But the fight in the players and the mentality brought us their points and uh, everything would just seem to be going right from the beginning. But uh, obviously the, the mentality has dropped a bit and uh, they're just, the, the football and capability is just going down. Yeah. I, I do know that we do need to make it up, definitely. Yeah. Um, Dylan, do you think it's tactics or mentality or both? I think it's a bit of everything all mixed into one. There's just nothing anymore. I don't know what's happened behind the scenes, but it needs changing quick because we can't carry on like this. Yeah. Beginning of the season, all the signings were great. I think the recruitment has been brilliant. And, you know, we wanted to see, like, we wanted favourites to go up as well as Bradford. And we had a good month. Uh, and people say, like me, the honeymoon's over, it's just unacceptable performances. You see the fans after the game, you should see them all in the stands for at least five minutes after. We're not seeing that, we're going for like ten minutes before the game's even finished. Like, the players need to start showing a bit of fire and a bit more often. Yeah, I mean, Crawley Town next, we've got the Papa John's before that. I mean, Crawley, score predictions. Joe, you, you, you first. I mean, we're at home. I think someone's going to have to pick up this week to... To get, uh, to get the result next week, I, I don't know where they are in table. I'm guessing mid table, but I think so, yeah. I've got um, mid to bottom, I think, but I still think the match. I think it could be a 0 0 draw. 0 0, Dylan. We're not going to get much confidence from Tuesday. There's going to be a few more young lads out. Come Saturday, I think we'll lose 2 1. Two, one. Tom Telford, double. Wow. Um, thank you very much, guys. Charlotte, third straight defeat in a row. Initial reactions after that one? 
Well, as you said, it was a bit of everything, to be honest. Tactics and mentality, it was like a pick and mix that tasted of rotten rats. Um, just absolutely poor, absolutely poor. But again, just like Barrow, first 10, 15 minutes, we were the better team. And then after that, it was ball swindling for the rest of the match. It was just absolutely poor. And again, we made it to the front and then we push it back and we push it back and we just push it out sideways and backwards. Again, like you said, tactics, mentality, player morale, player cohesion, team cohesion. Again, I'll say it's like a pick and mix taste of the rotten rats. It's just absolutely diabolical. We need to see us a shape up before next week. After the uh, Barrow game, McCheffrey singled out George Miller. Do you think that helps him? Because today he wasn't the best. Miller wasn't amazing. I think that's some of that's going to do with his confidence from that moment for me. I think that I don't know why McSheffrey singled out Miller in the first place. Yes, he wasn't amazing today, but what's he supposed to do when he's feeding off scraps? It's like going to a chip shop. You ain't got the money, but they're selling scraps for free and they said, oh, just go and get some stuff behind the bins or something. The fe the feeding off nothing, the feeding off scraps. And again, I'll say it again, I think some of that's gone down to the Sheffield calling them out, uh, singularity after the Barrow game. But not just Miller, some other players were poor today. Really, really poor today. And again, it's a serious shake up before next week. Is it for you the tactics that's going wrong, or is there somewhere, something else that's going wrong? Again, I'll say it's a bit of both. Uh, I think tactics, we, we, they gave us the changes that we wanted. Maxwell at left back, Rowe in the midfield, Faulkner in the defence, they gave Taylor a start, great, fantastic. But again, today, tactics, we were narrow, we were passive, we barely went forward, we hoofed it up. And then substitutions-wise, we bring off our best winger, and replace him with Hurst. Hurst's a good player, but why bring off your best winger when you bring off Molyneux? Because he was not at his races today. It's like, the grand, it's like being at the start of the Grand National and your belly set off 20 seconds before everyone else. He's not at the race today at all. Wrong substitutions, tactics were passive and stagnate for most of the time. Sideways and backwards, barely pumped it for unless it was a route one. And again, just we weren't at the races today. And I think it's a mixture of everything. Like I said, pick and mix, taste of the rotten rats. This next league game is against Crawley. Do you think a defeat against them could see McCheffrey's pressure increasing in his job? I do. I'm going to stick to my beliefs and say I'll, say I'll see where we are at the end of October and then decide whether I'm McCheffrey or McCheffrey out. I was speaking to Steve ever before the match. He said, just get behind the team anyway. You know, just. You know, keep, you know, you can have your opinions, but go be, keep getting behind the team. We are behind the team. I, be, I believe in Steve, I believe in Gary McSheffrey, but unfortunately, the pressure's on, and it's going to get harder and harder as the defeats keep going harder and harder. So I reckon it'll be a 2-1 defeat at this stage. My prediction could change in a few days, but we've got the Papa John's before that, and I think we might have a chance of winning that one, but that's about it. Cheers, Charles.